Now our other big story, a man catches a possible crime in progress and loses his life trying to stop it. Uh, the deadly shooting has sent a Newport News neighborhood into shock. This happened just before 4 o'clock this morning on 24th Street in the East End. A 48-year-old man died just moments after being hit by the gunfire. Ten on your side, Andy Fox has more on this stunning crime for Newport News tonight, Andy. Yeah, Tom and Anita, this is just so tragic. This is the house where the couple lived, and this is the house where the husband died this morning, the day before Thanksgiving. You always hear shooting up and down here. All over this place, you always hear shooting. Neighbors rattled by police presence they haven't seen before. Once police lifted the crime scene tape, you could see blood on the front porch of this home on 24th Street. Neighbor Ernest Gibbs. Somebody was running cars and a guy came outside, tried to stop him. When he seen him and the guy ran off, ran off shooting, I guess he was scared or something. So he shot and ended up hitting the guy. Guy ran inside the house. The first call to police was for vehicle tampering. While responding, police got the second call. Shots fired. Newport News Police Chief Steve Drew. I will say that that an individual came outside, um, and then and, and shots were fired. Some things that he saw startled him. Some shots were fired, and that he he did die at, at, at here in the res, at his residence. You could see bullet holes left in cars as the suspect or suspects fled the scene, hopefully caught on camera as they were running. But I want the kids that live in this neighborhood to know, I want the citizens who live in this neighborhood to know that we care about them, that what goes on here matters. We were with Chief Drew when he carried out his unfortunately traditional care walk in neighborhoods struck by deadly violence. But I'll tell you this, we're going to solve this crime. Make no mistake about it, we're going to solve this crime. Yeah, and the bottom line is that this couple was known as a quiet couple. They kept to themselves. I spoke with the wife this morning, so devastated she could not finish the phone call, just devastated by what happened here this morning in front of her the day before Thanksgiving. Our heart and prayers go to the family, and as you heard from the chief, he will make it his duty to find whoever did this. In Newport News, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Mm.